Okay. Hey, welcome everyone. I am so excited, Patsy, to, to welcome Patsy Sanders. Um, let me tell the people a little bit about you, Patsy, and then okay. we'll launch. So y'all, Patsy is an international image stylist coach and a master hairstylist and a speaker. She is known as the total transformation specialist. Her clients images reveal who they truly are from head to toe and from the inside out. She teaches us the unknown secrets of how to align with our essence. Because how you feel in your clothes is as important as how you look in your clothes. What you wear affects your income, whether you get that job, get that client, how easily you connect with others, your ability to attract an ideal partner, and even how you perceive yourself, probably especially how you perceive yourself. Living in her element as a fire has equally transformed her, expe transformed, sorry, her experience of showing up authentically in the world. She confidently walks through life graciously accepting compliments no matter what she is wearing. Patsy is on a mission to help other women discover the joy of living in harmony with their true authenticity by finding their own unique style through the element typing system. Welcome, Patsy. Tell us. Thank First, you. Why, yeah. Why do you, how do you, tell us how you got here. Why do you do what you do? Kendra, it's so nice to meet you. Um, well, I, it's really quite amazing. I've done hair forever. Uh, it was my dream to do hair and I won a scholarship out of beauty college and I've done hair for a long, long time. And I always enjoy making people look wonderful. So um, se six, 16 or 17 years ago, when uh, my husband's mill closed and the, we, so we decided to move to be clears to our daughter. And we moved to a place called Santa Rosa, about an hour above San Francisco to be close to our daughter. And they were having a baby and I wanted to be by a grandbaby. So that's why we decided to go down there. Well, I personally was really unhappy with myself. I got up to 250 pounds. I, um, I just dieted off and on all my life and I kind of given up. I didn't know what else to do. I met a lady who introduced me to a 12 step program for food. So I went and I found out that I was a food addict, not just an overeater. And I went from a size 20, 22 to a six, eight. And now I'm about an eight, 10, but I've, but that was 16 years, 15 years ago. So I've stayed that same size for 14 years. And um, so I had my own transformation because in a 12 step program, they do what, you know, it's a body, mind and spirit thing it really helps you heal all the wounds from your past. And as you are in the program, then when you, you know, get where you want to be, you come back and you help others. So I'm still active in that program. Um, and I, I want this size a body. I don't want to be what I used to be because I used to hate how I looked and anything. But anyway, so I was trying to get a new job. And so I had a hard time because I was new to the area. And when I first got there, I applied, but you could tell people wouldn't hire me because of my size. They don't say that, but there's a lot of stigma and judgment around if you're heavy but they don't know much about that. So I found it difficult and I just said, don't forget it, God. But then I found the program and then I got a job working at a quick cut place and worked my way up. So in that, having my own transformation, you know, going from a size, shape of an apple round body to like, now I had a waist, I didn't know, what do I do with you? And um, so I kind of switched addictions and started shopping. But in that, program I met a lady that is a speaker trainer her name is Susan Kirby and um her and her husband became my clients and she goes Patsy I'm doing a speaker training this weekend and my stylist is going to come in and do their colors would you come and do their hair because um she does element color typing and it's a head-to-toe makeover and so um the hair's involved I said oh I'd love to so she'd tell me to cut their hair like this or give them a bang or do that and uh, she goes, this is great. And my friend said, hey, Patsy, Barbara, color type you in the elements if you want. I said, no, I look fine. I've been color type in the 80s. Like, I knew I was a winter. I know how to wear black and, you know, jewel tones. I know how to dress nice. She said, yeah, but Patsy, think about this. You've been complaining that it's hard to build your business. Wonder if what you're wearing is keeping people from working with you. So I knew I could either be open to possibilities and vulnerable, or I could keep struggling. 
So really kind of to make her happy, I said, fine, I just don't want to be a fire. Well, guess who became a fire? And I was not a happy camper. <laughs> so in my head, I mean, I'd even be kind of color type it, you see in the seasonal thing. You know, I did that for a while after I'd get found out it was a winter. And then it kind of run the gamut, went away. But um, so I said, fine. So I said, so I don't want to be a fire. She said, Patsy, let me explain what's different about the reveal system and the elements. She said, each one has character traits and gifts and, you know, physical features. And when we color type you in the right colors and textures, your eyes light up. It's like seeing the window to your soul. And she said, if you could see how beautiful you look in those colors. And I started crying. I thought, oh my God, what's the matter with me? She said, let's do this. Why don't you meet me at this consignment shop? We'll buy a few tops and you just wear them to work. Yeah. And she said this, if people don't treat you differently, you don't have to switch. You can keep wearing what you're wearing. I said, fine, I'll do that. So I did it. And every time I'd wear one of those darn tops to work, this stuff, people, my, my clients would go, Patsy, you look so great today. Or Patsy, you look pretty today. You know, I kept getting that. And then about a week later, the salon owner came up. She goes, Patsy, what are you doing different lately? I said, changed my tops. She said, well, whatever it is, it's amazing. I thought, oh my God, I want to do this. So I started getting trained by the lady. She became very ill and I managed her business for two years. And then six years ago, she sold me the business. Oh my gosh. So I think God has a sense of humor because I didn't want to get typed. And now I own the business. But what happened, this is what was fascinating. When she got ill and I got trained, I became Susan's other stylist. So I got to work with Susan when Barbara was ill. And I could see how Susan would help like coaches and people that do hard work can help their inside, get their talks together, help to be real, like who you're sharing. And I dress the outside. It's like we put together this whole person, like your brand and your image become your heart, like this who you are. And uh, it was fascinating. I mean, people went from making no money to 10,000, 16,000, like the next month after they finished her program. Wow. So I could see the transformation. But what was the most important, I saw their confidence. Like people knew what to wear and they got on stage and they had this presence about them. Not like, oh, I hope I'm going to put this on my hair. Mm. You know how, we, how you get just like, oh, what am I going to wear today? Like I'm going to speak. And uh, I thought this is fascinating. So as I built this business, I up leveled the, so I put together a style guide and it tells you how to use your, your, your the color palette, right? So here's the color palette. Ooh. This is a handmade fan. And on the back, it has, has different little um, Bring it up just labels a little. of what it's for. So in here, you get patterns, you get flesh tones, you get your metals, like what jewelry should wear, foundation colors, all of this. And then on the back, it tells you what it is. And then here you can read when you wear that, what energy you bring to the room. So when I first started getting dressed and buying my clothes, thinking, okay, I'll try this out. I, Susan asked me to go help her with an event. And, and so I found this, this uh, flesh tone color top and had a V-neck, which is the fire shape. And, um, and this is what else she told me that really made me want to go shop. And she said, listen, the character trait of a fire is she's a mover and shaker and she gets stuff done. Well, that was me. So that's why I decided, okay, I'm going to go shopping. So I went shopping. And when I found this flesh tone peach top, let me show it to you. <laughs> this is, I would have never bought this top in a thousand years. So you see this peach color right in here? Yes, yes. Uh, here, right here. Anyway, right there. Yep. Uh, the light one. Anyway. And then I found a duster to go with it. I thought, well, I'll wear that the first day. And then I went in my book. I thought, okay, what does it mean? Flesh tones are the closest to your natural skin tone and allow others access to your heart with purity. I thought, okay. Uh, conveying openness, deep connection, intimacy, trust, comfort, and safety. Well, I thought, well, I want people to feel, to trust me and feel, tr you know, comfortable coming up and asking me, where's the bathroom? You know, where's the book or whatever. So I thought I'll wear that. So the other stylist was at this event, walked in that first morning. She said, Patsy, you look luscious today. I said, I do. She said, yeah. I said, well, thank you. I wore the same outfit to a networking thing about three weeks later. And a lady I'd met one time came up and she goes, Patsy, you look radiant tonight. I said, thank you. Neither time had I said a word. Then I said, oh, that's the energy of color. 
So what happens when you match the energy of color with the harmonics of the body, because you know when you put something on and it's not comfortable, Kendra, right? And you go, this just doesn't feel good, right? But your body knows you know, mm-hmm. like it's it like every you know. cell of your being is kind of going, oh, there's a dissonance. Yeah, we all have this vibration and color definitely has a vibration, but it's a silent influencer. And that's what I understood about the flesh tones, right? Think about it. Most of our undergarments are flesh tone colors, soft, peachy and tans. And you know what I mean? So it's that, that energy of that. Well, this is fascinating. So I made this booklet and then a couple of years ago, a gal and I got together and we d- we just made these half fans of all four of the colors. Right? Oh, nice. So you're literally like, we'd be shopping and having our little colors with us and holding them up to our yeah, yeah. tops. And okay. Absolutely. So this is the way when I first help people, uh, they sign and work with me and I do a session with them and I do it virtually now um, because of the pandemic, I had to close my salon. Um, they hold up the colors. They don't wear any makeup, the color of their hair with it, cover it up with the band. So, because a lot of people with their hair colored, I can see when your eyes light up. I see oh them when they clear the soul. It is so fascinating. So they have they have metallics, they have reds, and they have patterns. And so each one has a different energy. It's just is so much fun. But then I realized afterwards, we would I tell them, okay, take your, you know, yeah, as soon as you get your fan, you can do your clothes in your closet but then i made these up and so now when i send a kit they uh, they get these right away we find out which one of their fans is their color and then you go in your bedroom and you lay stuff on your bed and you just lay all four of them out and the ones that you know don't go with that you keep pulling it off until That's you see what nice. color that is it's so much fun kendra i'm not kidding then it's like oh so then we put all the colors at the right spot and then the things that don't work we just stick them to the back this so i have them do that then i have a session with them and we go through those so why do you like that dress well it fits i love the style of it you know and i love the fabric i just feel good in it okay let's let's look for that style in your colors like helping you understand that just because i think people think when you work with a stylist you have to throw all your clothes away <laughs> well i was just gonna say it would help so much to be like i know why i'm keeping this and i know i'm feel good about letting this one go absolutely make- but you don't know that till you have these right right, right. so right. these are very fun and uh, it has the energetic words on the back and it tells you what each one is so i feel like god has helped me create these amazing tools that make my job easier to help my clients right and then you get this darling little bag that you're um that you're oh, so you in and your purse and you go purse. shopping anytime you're shopping you have it it doesn't get all frayed i love it well, yeah. I, I'm a testimonial like of a client of a client because I saw my dear colleague, Adana, who I've known for years, go from like always dressing nice. I always thought she looked nice. And then at the same thing happened. One day I was like, Adana, what is happening? You are glowing. And she was like, I just got back from meeting with my new style coach. I don't, or is that what you call yourself? Style coach? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, what's her number? <laughs> That's so great. So tell me too, you've got some different um, fabrics behind you. Cause so I thought it'd be fun just to do a little show and tell with people, because I think sometimes visually we can understand than just totally. telling you. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to show you all these colors. There's four of them and, and I'll tell you what element they are. And then you'll kind of get a sense of it. So this is what I used to wear all the time. Well, so I love black. Me, me in the Pacific Northwest, I am black. Okay, but do you see I have kind of a floating head? You really see the black and then kind of my head. Earth is the only color palette that can wear black successfully. And it's like wearing an invisible cloak. Yeah. They wear that black dress, but they see your they're seeing this, right? And energetically, they can't connect with you. Oh, so that right. was okay. a big aha. Uh-huh. I realized that I had been pushing people away for years wearing black because they couldn't connect with me. And as soon as I started wearing those colors to work and to network and stuff, I started getting clients and I doubled my business in two years. So it made such a huge, that's why I decided to buy the business and up level it and do other things. Cause it's like, this is transformational. So this is a dusty rose pink. This is water, but I kind of look washed out. Can you see how I kind of look washed out? Like it's not bad. Yeah, but it's- It's kind of washed out. (laughs) And then this beautiful coral is, um, let me get this up here. I use these because I think they really make a lot of sense. Cause like, yeah. there's a lot of coral out right now. Right. Oh yeah. Um, anyway, 
this isn't bad, you know, it's right. It's okay, right. So right. this would be air. Oh, okay. Wow. You got these memorized too. You've embodied. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then what about this color? How do you see me in this color? Ooh, that one. I really like that one. This is my color. This is olive green. So that's one of my foundation colors. So this I can always wear and speak. And I always look resonant in my colors. You're right. And your eyes kind of, I was like, oh, in your eyes. I noticed your eyes more, no more. Yeah, see, the yeah. eyes light up. So let me show you another color that everybody can wear. Um, this is teal and there's different shades of it, right? But this is what we call a dynamic and it's kind of bright, but people at least can see you. Even with this color on, you can see me, right? So everybody should be wearing solid color tops when they're on Zoom and when you speak solid okay. color because you don't want your clothing to be a distraction mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so there's teal and then this is eggplant that yeah. i have now so this this is the foundation color this so my people that don't wear black wear eggplant okay this eggplant is is still a power color it's strong but it's soft it doesn't mm -hmm. hit you in the face like black does yes yes yes, yes. so those wow. and and here's three things that you shouldn't wear on camera. Okay. Or on, on as a speaker. Should not wear white because white with the lighting reflects and makes you look bigger. You don't okay. want that. And then black. It's like you have a floating head. Even if you, even if my earth have black, I try to get them to wear a color because it's more engaging yes. energetically. And then not don't wear bold prints because yeah. people are so distracted by your top. So if you think about it, you only have 30... Three to five seconds to make a first impression from somebody, and if all they're doing is looking at your top, or your or your red lips are so big that they all they see is your lips. You've lost that thirty seconds to hear what they have to say, who they are. Well, so, I love how you're tuning into. I'm a music life coach, so I really am with the aural, the, the the vibrations that we feel and we sense from our ears, and you're bringing this whole well-rounded element of like, of course, we see even if we don't hear the vibrations of color. We feel them. They still. Yeah. But even with you have, let's say you have a choir, you want them to wear a color that is, is complimentary to everybody. Yeah. Then people aren't looking at the clothes. They're looking at the singers. Yes. Well, course, people in the audience that it's got their family member, they're looking at them. But do you know what I'm saying? Totally. You want people to notice the person. You want them to look at you and not all the distractions. Like having your background on Zoom represent who you are. Like, and so I had a couple of coaches say, Patsy, be be over to the side so they can see oh. your traits and and make them curious, right? And Absolutely. so these are the four little booklets, and I have a book I'm in, and then this is a this is an eight page magazine all about my business. It's called um, Legendary Leaders that I got awesome. to be featured in. So you know this is who I am, right? It represents who I am. So that is what's really important, right? You should have music notes. <laughs> well, and I see the alignment, the alignment of like, once you feel in alignment with your vibrations yes. and your colors, then the, the movement, you're very open to my compliments. You say, thank you to people's compliments. You're happy to present who you are as a way of, you know, that alignment's going to resonate with the people out there that are aligned. And it's like this opens up this flow, it sounds like. Yeah, we call it in resonance, inside, outside alignment, right? Totally. So think about your people that are singing and you're teaching voice to. Totally. You want them to be confident. So if they know what they what to wear to look oh, confident and they have yes, the right yes. colored hair. Yes, um, well, I also, before we end, I want to make sure because you have some gifts for both everybody here and you have some VIP gifts. So tell us about your free gift today. Okay, my free gift is a five-day um, streamline your closet. And why I do a little three to five minute video challenging you to do a 15 minute task that day. So the first day I'm gonna tell you to go into your closet and take out blah, 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 and put it in a bag and set it to the side. The next day I'm gonna tell you to do another section of your bedroom, right? Yes. And so you're really getting rid of stuff that you you just haven't taken the time to get step rid of. The step. I like and it. And then it's easier to kind of think, well, yeah. And I do that. And then I have a bonus session at the end. And then I invite you to let's connect and have a 30 minute call with me. And how'd you do? And what are you doing? And, and I have people put their, their clothes in kind of the different color palettes and see how much they wear, you know, like see what you're wearing. I mean, you have all these clothes, but what, you know what the latest statistic is people only wear 20% of the clothes in their closet. I think I'm like five or 10. 
really so do you know what i'm saying so we have all these clothes summer special occasions right but the challenge is the last three years you have that COVID 15 and you know like whatever and so you want to be in alignment i wear 100 percent of everything in my closet everything and when i want to get inside your mind like next interview i want to know like how you pick and when you pick and why you pick what you pick to wear that's fantastic that's what tell, I do. Yeah. Tell us about Just your a session with me. So that's my freebie. You get an hour session with me, the strategy session, which is usually a, you know, hundred ninety seven dollars. So think about that. Like, who have a session yeah. with? We talk about what you have, and let's pick on some stuff that you know I would recommend that you have already before we even get to work awesome. together. But kind of help you and answer any questions you have. It's very awesome. fun. So that's even your free gift. Do you have one for our VIPs too? That's the VIP is it's the one hour free. session. The, the streamline your closet is the okay. free for everybody, right? Got it. I yeah. love it. Okay. Well, everybody's getting that and looking for the link and getting their v- gifts. Will you tell me, is there any like final words of wisdom you want to leave us with before we sp- figure out how to find you in the world? Yes. I want to tell you uh, a quote I made up. <laughs> Because I think fashion is a look. It's not a size. It's not an age. It is not a name brand. And it is not a price tag because you can get great clothes all over. It's more about who you're being and what you're wearing. Feeling more uh, comfortable, more attractive, more approachable, right? And feeling beautiful as your authentic self, no matter what size you are, right? Or, or your age. It doesn't matter. I'm 72. I never in my dream, longest dreams think that I would be doing this at this age. And I've never been more passionate about it because it aligns with me. I'm a hairdresser. I can tell you what style to wear. I can tell you what to do from head to toe. Yes. That's why That's why um, Bar- Barbie sent, sold me the company because I could do it all and I could carry on the legacy of her business, right? And so, help so many women. And I think you've mentioned to me before that you've even helped women by taking the clothes now that they're getting rid of and help pass that on to the women that that is their color and that is their, like you almost have a whole shop now of the clothes we've, discarded that can be someone else's treasures well you know what i just started a nonprofit, and it's called elevating women in transition so people that give me their clothes we put them in this closet and then they can apply to have a makeover over, over scholarship and i do the whole thing i do their hair their makeup i teach them how to dress their body type i give them these four half fans and then i take them to our wardrobe closet and outfit them yes so oh it's my God, exciting that's fantastic. that is fantastic thank you so much i know everyone can benefit from this and i like what did you do you did half of it is this and half of it is this your brand and your image are the heart of your business thank you so much patsy sanders everyone um we will be talking to you again i I know i'll be talking to you again so i hope everybody finds patsy out in the world and get your free gifts so generous thank you so much for being here patsy you're so welcome